The Swamp Thing. bloody during the day so how are you bloody during the day just cycling up a hill it's bloody hot right now sweating like a pig already i literally woke up at quarter past five this morning thinking i had work and i literally sat there all confused and stuff and uh in the end i went to work but not the work that uh i normally do well i do normally do but not normally do do does that make sense yeah, that's me, shifting a wheelbarrow. We'll get to that in a minute. Very exciting. I'm just a bit lost, so I don't know where I'm going, to be honest. Oh. Nice flowers and stuff, seems legit. Oh. That'll do. See, there's days when I feel like I don't have a job. It's kind of strange. And I've never not had a job ever since leaving school. I've always been in work. So uh, if I've got to walk around the woods with a wheelbarrow full of uh, timber or dirt to feel like I'm still working, then I'll, I'll just do that. You know what I mean? It's kind of a mental game. And you just gotta like be on top of it, like, you know? See, I was doing really well on the COVID trail and it's still looking mighty fine. But I find myself sort of venturing off, finding other uh, spots to dig at. And I just can't help myself. I just get carried away. And yeah, I brought my wheelbarrow in here this morning and all hell broke loose. I got a new kicker here. Can't go over it now, look at that. Big sender. I started a nice berm here, look. Oh yeah, you're enjoying that, ain't you? Look at that. Nice little berm there. Needs to be bigger, but uh, all in good time. I did not dig that hole there. That jump was already there. That jump come from that hole. But don't worry, at some point I'm gonna fill it all in with all the uh, debris and stuff. You know, I don't like graves. But anyway, we carry on up. I started another berm up here. It's a bit of a mess. But uh, it doesn't need to be as good as the other one down there because it's kind of on the street. But uh, I'll get there. A bit rough and ready. Brought the uh, rollers back to life, look. The suspension checkers. Get your cock oh right here. Yeah. You test your suspension on that. Test the welds and stuff. Yeah, a little double here. That was already there, I just kind of brought it back to life, spruced it up. All right, we'll carry on up. All right, park the bike there, shall we? Carry on up here. There's a big stump in there I ripped out. Sorted that out. Oh yeah, you spotted it, all right. Oh my God. So yeah, this is uh, what I'm dealing with right now is um, basket-fied, for sure. I know exactly what you're thinking. That looks kind of too safe for stuff I build. I know. I uh, All the slats were gonna be halved, then go right up to the top. But for now, I've kind of left them as a uh, full length, so it's a lot wider, and I put in side supports. So I kind of ran out of uh, slats, so I couldn't go right to the top. But uh, to be fair, it's kind of safer as it is for now. I mean, this pallet here was supposed to be my starter right in that top piece between those, uh, between that V. So my back wheel kind of started on that, then kind of rolled down it. I've not supported it yet, it's still a bit bouncy, but uh, I had the option of either jumping over to the right or the left. And as you've seen, the left actually has a trail coming from it. So uh, I chose left, which is a bit of a beast to be honest. So you kind of ride down this monstrosity into a drop, which is, uh, yeah, swings around everywhere. Beautiful. But uh, I can guarantee from here onwards, the slats are going to be half 
and uh, it's going to be a lot more sketchy even getting past this tree. This tree is staying and your bars do get close to it. So uh, that bit's going to separate the men from the boys. This bit, pretty much anyone can do it to be honest. If you start an airlet, you think you've uh, popped too many shotties, you're like, oh my god, everything's moving. Is this, uh, is this right? Of course it is, it's basket fired. So uh, yeah, we've got a swaying rolling to come down, which has all been screwed up. Absolutely solid, mate. I am an engineer, but uh, give me a drill and I'll just bloody go mad. You know what I mean? Some of the slats are longer than others. I couldn't be able to cut them down. It is what it is. But yeah, suddenly having a wheelbarrow just made life so much easier. I was running up and down this with rocks and that in it to get it flat. I was able to bring all that wood over quite easily. Building berms and that so much easier. I haven't sort of looked at that anymore, but uh, the big double is going to be coming very, very soon. I mean, it's not even an easy way to get up here. I've left this bit of tree here as a su support underneath and uh, you kind of step on it. That's all right. But uh, yeah, this thing definitely sways about a bit. Every step I take, every move I make. What the fuck? I should have added enough slats to go against that tree. So you got somewhere to rest against to start. That's what it'd be like up there. You literally rest in that tree on a platform and then when you're ready, just let go of the brakes and hopefully you don't hit this tree or come off the side. If you do, it's gonna be hilarious, mate. That is a sick little track. A couple of hours of work this morning with the barrow, the basket barrow. Okay, some of the jumps were here. I just sort of uh, tarted them up. But yeah, bloody lovely, mate. This is quite a nice little booter. Enjoyed that. That burn is looking quite nice. There are, uh, I think it's about six barrows worth. But yeah, I reckon 10 basket barrows on that landing, blend it down and a bit at the back. That would be the landing done. Blend it into the floor. Like I say, all this crap's gonna go in the barrow. Fill all the back of that in so it neatens it up. Plus fill in some of the holes around here. And then, uh, to be honest, I've not even been down here. Some big old logs down here. Uh, I mean, it'd be rude not to carry on the trail because it's still quite steep from there. I'm sure I was fine. I'm sure I'll find some form of a monstrosity. Be cool to kind of just ride straight up a tree. That'd be insane. But I definitely wouldn't want to sort of nail anything to the actual tree itself, not a one that's standing. That'd be naughty. But uh I don't know what. Hmm, I'm sure there's something. I don't think you can see it until you start clearing it. Just literally just randomly start clearing a line and it would just come to you. You're like, ha ah, ha! Like a light bulb comes above your head. And then you just go on a mad one, like. But yeah, it actually looks pretty good here. And I love the fact it doesn't actually come out on the actual uh, fire road. So uh, if you're coming out really, really fast, you see a dog walker and you're like. And then that's kind of what happens to them. You scare the crap out of them, like. Oh, that was actually horrible. I mean, this is set unreal now. I'm so glad I came in the other day when it's raining. I mean, that's gone like concrete already. And this thing is all there. Oh my God, your takeoff's bouncy. There is no bounce in that, mate. That is literally rock solid now. That is crazy. It's still a little bit rugged. I've not touched it since the other day. I did say it's a bit aggressive from the side. Just needs to kind of go. It's more of a long jump than going too high. If you go too high, then you miss the landing completely. It's kind of just a race down, but then you can kind of launch at it yourself if you want to go higher. Yeah, I can't wait. Honestly, I can't wait to ride down that tree fully from the top. Some, oh, Jesus, see, I told you, these bloody bad rolls. 
See, look, I'm not even like at a high point yet. Oh, fucking another one. It swallowed me whole. Yeah, I'm not even at the high point yet, but even that feels fun. But it's like put a wedge underneath there, fix it in, and then one slightly higher up. And uh, should be gravy. From there, it's going to be interesting. The speed will be crazy. I mean, you could come down to a certain way, because it might be too fast to go off to that left, blend down, then loop up. I don't know, we'll see what happens when we get there. See, people keep going on to me, right? I'm looking at mountain bikes at the moment, but they're bloody expensive, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, Ugh. and they're kind of like, yeah, they are a bit dangerous and stuff. I don't want to get hurt riding them and that. And they watch some of the crashes that happens on my channel and they're like, oh, yeah, that dickhead was on the BMX as well. But uh, I've got a solution for you. Instead of diving in and buying a really expensive mountain bike, then kind of regretting it, get yourself a wheelbarrow, right? And go downhill wheelbarrowing. It is next level, honestly. I mean, this bad boy costs 25 quid and it's just as good as a mountain bike to start with. You kind of get the feel for it and all that. Um, I'm literally going to come down my uh, new tree ramp and then uh, do the full line. See, look at this. You just pop down a tool station, got a bargain on a wheelbarrow. And you're like, oh my God, I'm going to give this a try. Here we go, look. It's coming down. Boom. 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 Can... All right. Next time I've got to kind of make sure I clear this grass because it's bloody slippery. But yeah, crashes happen, ignore that. You come on down, look, you can get all like in the burns, in the turns, over the rollers. Got a double coming up. Oh my god! Got oh, the That gets a bit out of control. Unfinished burn, but you can get like. Don't get snagged up. Oh, it hurts. Oh my god, I don't want to eat. Okay, backwards. Oh god. Right about. I mean, it normally works better when you've got a person in the barrow coming off drops and stuff like that. Uh, Grace didn't want to volunteer, so uh, I've got no other friends at the moment. But when everything goes back to normal, downhill wheelbarrow will come in. I'll stick Ryan in for sure. Right to the top of that tree, straight down. It's kind of nice because if you go out of control, you just let go of the wheelbarrow and just get out of the way like. Right, what was I doing? But now, nah, being honest, I can't see myself getting a new mountain bike for bloody ages. I feel like when this thing does go, I think basket might go. You know, money's a bit tight at the moment because of this whole bloody COVID shit. My bloody boss ain't paying me the extra 20%, so I'm 20% down on my wages. But to be honest, I'm kind of glad I'm getting something. The 80%, you know, at least I'm not doing as much as I was before. You know, I'm not driving as much and MOT and all that's been put right back and stuff. But uh, yeah, I just hope this old girl battles on for me for now. I got the BMX as a backup, I suppose. And a foldable bike and a mini BMX. And the Cuda is somewhere lurking. Oh, la 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Shit breaks. Ba, ba, ba. One thing I do have is crazy ass flex in my back end. I think I need the bearings changing at some point. If you kind of flick it out a little bit, it feels like you lose control, but it's like the tire actually rubs on the side where it flexes so much. 
Oh yeah, and rest in peace to the wooden road gap. I actually took that out myself. That's got to be put back in as a natural feature. Kind of like that jump. Stick that log in, bit of dirt straight over because uh, I want that wooden structure. I want to kind of keep all the wood in one place and that thing's an absolute monster. So we can make something fun with that. Proper thick timbers. I think it's like 9b2 or something. But anyway, yeah. Lewis's jump still available though. Just hit that a few times. It's a great time. Those are fun. Do it every morning, like a few press ups, bit of orange juice, jump Lewis's jump, and all that. Yes, mate. No, mate. Quickly test the uh, step up. It actually still looks wet. And even though it's only like two days ago, actually, to be honest, I'll let it off. A couple more days of dry, it'll be fine. Oh my god, that is so much better. Yes, basket. That sucks, but uh, yeah. Oh, that feels really, really good. Like I say, it's still a little bit wet. Pat that in a little bit. But yeah, the actual shape itself is loads better. Let that go nice and hard. Yeah, it's definitely a better shape from the side now. Still quite steep, but uh, the landing's not that far away. Right, let's do this pump track bit. I'm not gonna go down there, I can't be asked. Do this trail, come out here. Then I wanna go down Lewis's trail. Yeah, this is still a little bit sloppy, but uh, definitely looks good. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just this part that pisses me off. You kind of see the tire mark. People keep riding over this edge, down and around. Hence the fact this log's been moved. I put that in purposely to stop you, but... Uh. End of the day, if you're scared to jump it, just make a different line. But the bit I'm actually hitting, it's actually quite nice. I'm so glad I sorted out that drainage issue there. Last thing you want is a massive puddle there before you go through. You know, it blocks your vision going between those trees. It'd be like doing it at night. You don't want to do it at night, mate. Only idiots do that. Now that is sweet as a nut. And uh, the other day I was looking to the pump tracks up there, COVID trail. It's kind of like a, like a little pump track thing coming through here. And I know that dirt's really nice as well. <sighs> so yeah, one more thing to check out. It's the gap between the tree. I sculpted that the other day in the rain. And hopefully it's really nice now. New line. My wheel slipped off at the beginning. Yes, that was absolutely fantastic. Kind of wish I did the log ride fully, but never mind. I'll get there in the end. Bastard. 
I won't let it beat me. I will not let it beat me. Oh, I'm actually a little bit gutted. That was kind of like six failed attempts then. And uh, in the end, I was like, solid, just jump between the tree. Let's get that done and dusted. That's kind of like the hardest part. But uh, I wish I didn't slip off that log. I just want to complete the whole line all the way to the bottom fire road. But uh, it links in so well. I know, I know, you're disappointing in me. Didn't make it down that fall trail. I'll be back, don't you worry about that. So, uh, just heading home now. Pedaling up another bloody hill. Remember my top tip. Get yourself a wheelbarrow. Go down in and with it. Make sure you wear a grip of your shoes. Tell you now, if I had my bloody cranes on, my Audi shoes, would have been no issues, mate. But yeah, do you want to see more sort of downhill wheelbarrowing? It'd be quite good, I suppose. Do some like 360s off drops and stuff. Could learn how to backflip, I suppose. Just run straight up. Bloody great river jumps and that. With a wheelbarrow. That'd be quite cool, actually. Anyway, hope you're staying safe. Hope you're staying sane. And I'm off home. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bloody hell. Just went out for a nice little quiet ride. End up on Crime Watch. Oh, Christ.